Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I had live stream with Scott Reader, so those of you who have not seen it, uh, please go under live category and you find it there. We addressed a few topics. Of course, we had to address the situation with attempt on life of Prime Minister of Slovakia, Robert Fito. And I will start this video with uh, an update about his health some uh, articles, some information here. We also talk about Ukraine and the peace, how the peace negotiations will look like and with who they will be taking place since, as you know, as Putin says, there is no one to trust at this point. So make sure to check it out. You know where to go. Uh, let's start with the update about Robert Fico, the Prime Minister of Slovakia, his health condition. Miriam Lapunikova, who is a director of the Roosevelt Hospital in Banska Bystrica, where Fico uh, was taken by helicopter after he was shot. She said that Fico went a uh, CT scan and that he is awake and stable in intensive care, despite the fact he is conscious and she described his condition as very serious. She explained that the surgery removed dead tissue that was remained inside Fito's body. What I also heard this morning, I mean, I read, I didn't hear, of course. I, I read uh, some information that they are planning to move Prime Minister of Slovakia to another hospital to Bratislava. Uh, I think on Monday that was mentioned, but I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm not a doctor. We see how this goes. Let's continue praying for his health and for his quick recovery. But I decided, guys, to read you something. To read you something that I usually don't do this. I receive an email from someone. And it's a comment, so let's use it as a comment of the day. I would like to know your thoughts on this. I will be giving you my opinion after I read this. What I feel could be the case. Who did it? Well, we know who did it, but uh, who was behind it? But I want to read you this, okay? So bear with me. I know it might be controversial to many of you. However, some of you will appreciate a different perspective on this. Uh, I will not say the name of this person because I want to keep it private, but it's an email that I have received uh, yesterday evening after my live stream with Scott. There are onion layers to it. The outer layer is the loner, the member of the general public camp that hates Fito. The next layer is that this was a WHO or Ukraine or both hit. But as Ritter rightfully pointed out, Scott Ritter has rightfully pointed out, a professional hitman would have put paid on Fito's account. The next onion layer down, and it is eye watering and smelly, is that this old person was encouraged to carry out his ridiculous attempt on Fito's life, knowing it would fail so that a serious and real connection could be uncovered to clearly demonstrate that WHO is corrupt, so corrupt it has taken the assassinating heads of state that publicly oppose, oppose them and cause them humiliation and take wind out of their authoritarian sails. So set your watches, ladies and gentlemen. I am predicting with confidence that this will result in public exposure of connection to major globalist players who sanctioned a hit. So desperate, they got sloppy and ordered the hit. There will be a paper trail, you watch. Slovakia and Fico, the Slovak good guys, have been really fighting against the globalist scam as David fought Goliath. They also have their matching orders as ordered by the worldwide resistance. Fito was ordered, okay, this is controversial, but just bear with me here. This is the, the email. Fito was ordered 
to take rubber bullets and the trap is being set for the globalists. The coup de grace of the globalists is now in the timeline and we the people can draw the victory liber liberation closer by pulling that bright and happy eventually closer to us as a thirsty Bedou warrior howl water up from his veil. Pascal, I don't know who is this, but I'm going to read you. It's a little bit distracting here, but I hope you're okay. Uh, Pascal Najadi, Nayadi, not a Bedou, but Swiss Iranian, has been calling very loudly for the arrest of all WEF, WAO, WHO, Gavi Swiss government. And he is correct. The connection must now be made for everyone to see. I mean, they will expose it. I have a feeling this is the beginning of the very end for the globalists. So I read you all of this because there were few points that I agree with. Uh, some of them I, I don't feel is true, but it's just my opinion. What I would like to say is that in my personal opinion, that person who did it was influenced. I think he was influenced. He was, uh, I think it was organized. I think it was staged. And I don't think this was just someone who acted out of craziness and some mental problems. So in my opinion, probably someone has contacted him uh, and the whole situation was created. It's just my opinion. And now who contacted him? If it was this organization or that organization, this country or that country, that's another story. But I don't think he was acting on his own. It's just, just my opinion. All right, now what's going on in Ukraine, everyone? Always something, right? So we have, this is from yesterday. I got those two articles, but since yesterday I had live stream, <coughs> today is the day to read this to you. Ukraine enforces penalties for military offenses. This is one topic. And the second one, maybe we start with this. Let's do this. Zelensky signs legislation to allow some convicts to join armed forces. Yesterday, uh, what was it, May 17th, Friday, Zelensky also signed legislation allowing certain convicts to join the country's armed forces. The legislation, which was adopted by the parliament on May 8, enables certain categories of convicts to be enlisted for military service under a contract during martial law. In exchange, the convicts will be granted the possibility to get parole from serving their sentences. The new law will not apply to, prisoner, apply to prisoners who were convicted for crimes against Ukraine's national security, international murder of two or more persons and other serious crimes. Last week, Justice Minister Denis Maliuska said that Ukraine has the potential to conscript between 10,000 and, <coughs> and 20,000 convicts, according to media reports. On May 18th, this is today, Saturday, a law to tighten military mobilization rules, which aims to recruit more troops for the country's armed forces. And it will take effect in Ukraine as we speak, so as of today. Now, the first, uh, the first topic here that I was about to tell you as well, Ukraine enforces penalties for military offenses. I'm going to read you this because this gives you an idea. Sorry, guys, for the noise. Uh, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Let me just wait because they are moving some. They are moving some uh, water and drinks to the restaurant. Uh, Zelensky signed a law that increases fines for violation for military registration and mobilization rules. The law aimed at tightening the enforcement of military duties was officially signed on May 17th, following its approval by 256 votes in the Vyrkovna Rada on May 9th. Stricter penalties for military offenses. The new legislation 
amends both the Code of Ukraine on administrative offenses and the Criminal Code of Ukraine. It introduces higher fines for breaches related to military accounting, defense legislation, military duty and mobilization protocols. Under the new law, fines for violating military accounting rules have been increased. And I'm going to read you how much people will pay if they don't obey. First offense, fines range from 3,400 to 5,100 hryvnias, 93 to 140 dollars. I'm going to read you in dollars, it will be easier to kind of have a sense, right? Uh, repeated offense within a year, fines escalate between 140 dollars to 232. During a special period, the fines are further increased to a range of $465 to $698. And citizens' fines range from $465 to $698. Officials and legal entities fines $931 to $1630. Fines will be imposed within three months from the date of detection of the offense, but no later than one year from the moment of its commission. So there you have it, guys. What will be in a year there? God only knows. And I will end this video here because I have to actually go back there. With this being said, all the links are down below this video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Hope the noise was not too much, but at least you have some different areas that you can see. Hit this like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it very much. Leave the comments down below and share the video if it brings you any value. If you would like to support me, you have my links to PayPal. You can buy me a coffee, there is a link as well. Go found me, fundraiser, um, Instagram. Join my mailing list and with this being said guys, lots of love and remember we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. Bye everyone.